What's up everybody, Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at embedding in custom emojis to your organization through Teams that you can then have everybody use to react. Here's how you can go ahead and make your Teams a little bit more personalized. Here, I've got my Teams channel here that I'm hanging out in. I said, hey everybody, don't mind me, I'm testing my custom memes for my YouTube video. What I've decided to do is I'm gonna actually scroll down to this area here in your chat. You're gonna find some formatting options to the next section. You're gonna find our emojis. We wanna bring those in. You also will see some other options to help you draft it with Copilot, Loop, and this other actions page here. So if I wanna personalize with my custom emojis, I'm actually gonna to go to the emojis icon here. If you're not familiar with this space, this is where you're gonna have your emojis, your GIFs or GIFs, whatever you wanna go with. I go with GIFs and your stickers. There's a lot of cool capability here. But right out of the gate, you might already notice that something is out of place. Hmm. Okay, has anybody ever seen this Greg shocked emoji? I don't know if you have, <laughs> because unless you're in the Pragmatic Works team tenant and in our environment, you're not really gonna see this here. But I love it, because if ever I wanna react, I can just throw this up and go, oh my gosh. I can put this as its own kind of thing here and it will populate or I could actually do it in a reaction right here to this comment. I'm gonna react to it with the Greg shocked right there. Now the question is, how do I get this in there? Greg, I've got my own memes that I use all the time that I wanna throw in. Well, hold on, let me pause you there, time out. First things first, when you're using this feature, do be mindful of Teams etiquette. We've all seen it. Cue the sad music. You think a meme or a gif is funny and it's not. Or you think it's going to be great for the work chat and you end up fired the next day. Please do not do that. All right, we are taking that out of the equation. I'm warning you right now, be careful with this feature and so much so that some organizations, you might actually find that it's not turned on. This is a setting that in your team's administration area, you can decide how you want this to be done throughout the whole tenant. We're going to go ahead and we can go to the emoji icon over here. I can look for my emojis here by going to see all. And then down at the bottom here, you're going to see this button that says your orgs emoji. Okay. So the goal is I am can click on all these emojis, but I'm going to click on this one here. And now I can see all of the various emojis that we have here at Pragmatic Works. We've got our very awesome Allison thinking pose here. All right. We've got our Jonathan lifting up everything. We've got our co-pilot queen with Amelia here. They just make this so much fun. It's kind of great to be like, I have the major shocked emoji and throughout all of the team's channels, that's what pops up. What if you want to customize, right? Let's bring in our own. So I'm gonna to go to the plus sign here and add emoji. Now what's gonna pop up here is your general kind of file window within Microsoft Teams. Now we already probably have a grumpy cat kind of icon, but we could look for something like grumpy cat in here. I've got a grumpy cat item here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and try to bring it in. Now here's what it's gonna look like. You also made a notice and I'll cancel that just so you can see it. When I went to add this, it didn't initially show up. It was looking for a certain file type. So I went here and went to all files to find that specific one. This is really important, especially if you're grabbing things from the web that you're already using. So I'm gonna go to Grumpy Cat, open it up, and Clippy's gonna tell me, I love Clippy, I miss Clippy. All AI today, to me, is just Clippy that's been rebranded. Now, this is gonna be Grumpy Cat, and I'm gonna bring this in and add the emoji. It'll take a moment here to be loaded in and boom. Now, if you haven't already realized, I could react with this emoji. You can react with multiple emojis and I can go to my orgs emojis and add in grumpy cat. Or maybe if I don't want grumpy cat, I can say, hey, you know what? Let's get Manuel in there, right? One of the important sides. Let's talk about the administration aspect here. When you're using these custom emojis in Teams, I wanna bring over a little bit of the Microsoft Learn documentation. Main type of items here that you can manage with this feature on the admin side. Number one, we can turn the feature completely on and off in your entire tenant. 
which means if you don't want people having this access, lame, you could get rid of it. People are misusing it, I understand, but I think it's a great way to personalize Teams. You also can set which users can create new emojis, so you can choose certain people that maybe have past training, or maybe you just choose all the really cool people that have all the great emojis and memes they can go ahead and make them. But you could set up something like that with training or anything. You also can choose which users can delete emojis in the messaging policy groups. If I didn't like Grumpy Cat and I decided, well, I'm gonna go ahead and delete Grumpy Cat here, I could go back to this reaction area, go back to my org emoji, or just add in from the emojis tab down below, and then I can decide, I don't know, should I get rid of this custom emoji here? And you're going to notice I'm trying to delete this feature here. I want to get rid of it. Maybe I customize over here with my default reactions. No, where could it be? Oh, can I undo this? Maybe I'll click on Grumpy Cat. And that's where you might encounter a problem, right? So you can determine who can make some deleting or other features. Here, I can't delete it, it's there, and that means it's fair game. People can continue to use Grumpy Cat from here on out. If you go back to that emojis icon, you have your GIFs, but right below you're gonna see these stickers. What I'd ask you to do is let's go to see all. Now here you've got something intriguing that maybe you haven't actually noticed before. Yeah, you've got Clippy. That's the OG right there, but you're also going to notice that there are these little pencil icons. These pencil icons are a meme format or a comic format that you're going to be able to customize and add in and use with everybody. So if I want to here, I can go to just the meme item or office drama. Let's look at the meme item here. Wow, wow, wow. Grumpy Cat is back. And I also have some of these other great memes that I can actually customize. Now, it is somewhat limited, right? It isn't fully this giant library of things. But when we're talking about work appropriateness, well, there's again that fine line of what we're bringing in and kind of we've already got some great ones here to leverage. We're going to use this office space one here and then you actually just have a space for the top and the bottom captions. So if I want to go in here and say, if you could come in on Saturday, oh, I hit my, I hit my limit. If you could come in on Saturday, <laughs> right? Whatever I want to write here, I actually can format it here. And you know what? Let's say, okay, hey, Amelia, can you delete Copilot? All right, that's something that Amelia would never do. <laughs> but I can press done and bada bing, bada boom, it's customized. I can bring it in right here. I can almost guarantee Amelia's going to hit me with <laughs> the most ridiculous reaction at some point to this here. You also have some other icons here within these stickers. You could go back to office drama and you have a bunch of other kind of comic book styles here. So not only we're bringing in emojis, we're bringing in comic books, we're bringing in memes in our own custom emojis here, you are really starting to personalize Microsoft Teams. That being said, you've stuck around to the end of the video, which means you really wanna become a Teams expert. If you're looking for more awesome ways to understand all there is in Microsoft Teams, including the administrative side of things, I want you to check our on-demand learning. We have a whole suite of great Microsoft Teams courses to guide you through the whole ecosystem of Teams. Also, how to administrate things like this before they get out of hand. It's a great course. And right now, if you use Greg40, you're gonna get 40% off your entire year subscription to the on-demand learning. You're gonna see courses from me, Justin, Amelia, and the rest of the official Power BI team. For me, it has really enhanced my team's experience. I just have way more ability to express myself when I'm working in the team's chat. And hey, you're spending 40 hours plus a week working and using teams. Might as well make it a little bit more fun.